What's up guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking effect where you have kind of a combination between a wireframe view and a rendering or in this case I'm going to be doing a hidden line view but you get the point, you're using basically a line view and you're com combining it with a rendering to get this sort of a effect now here in this project as you can see this is what I'm working with this is my jazz center project for school that I'm doing and this is the this is the, the actual concert hall over here so I want the to exaggerate this part over here and I I want to have the the rest of the building of course in view but I want kinda the the accent to be on this part of the building and this is more here more for giving it a little bit more context than anything else so that's why I'm going to be combining this v these two views to get that maximum effect but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so here as you can see here we have this church over here that's in view and uh, that's the position of the church you can't unsee it but for this rendering I really wouldn't want to look at it so uh, the way that I'm going to remove it is as you can see over here I can select some parts but I can't select everything so it would take a bit longer to to kind of select everything and then right click and or go here and just uh, hide elements in view but the the way that I can select all of it real quick is to scroll down and go to one of these generic 3d views kind of scroll around a bit let's let's eliminate these the uh, crop view and let's just turn off transparency just to make it easier on us so here's that church and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and select it in this view then jump back into my 3d view and now just hit here hide elements in view and as you can see now it's gone and it isn't protruding in the rendering or the wireframe view now yesterday I showed you how to create this all white rendering and that's the one that I'm going to be using and today I'm just going to show you how to create this hidden line view now all of these lines are black and kinda the color that I'm using mostly for this project is very dark green so I want to convert all of these lines to very dark green and the way you do that is you just go into VG or visibility graphics and here you select the first element or whatever and then you hold shift you select the, the last and you just hit here override and this allows you to override graphics for everything so here just for the lines for the color I'm going to change it to this very dark green go OK OK apply OK and as you can see now it's a bit greener and I really like it. this is the the project color so I'm just going to leave it at that and now we need to export this file now you can export this as PDF but it would just be a massive file and it would be all real complex because it would be a vector file with a million lines and that's not something I want to have so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it as a JPEG so I'm just going to go here to file export and you scroll down you have here images and animations you find image and here you just need to set this to 1500 or 15,000 sorry and that's the the maximum amount of horizontal pixels that Revit will allow you to work with at least in my experience and this might look like an overkill but trust me you want to have that high quality and then here you just set where you want to save it and I already saved this image so I'm not going to do that and then you just hit OK when you're finished selecting everything so I'm just going to cancel out of this and minimize this and as you can see here I've got these two saved up I've got this rendering this is that white effect and again if you want to see that link is in the description and here I've got just this line work line work view okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to jump into Photoshop wait for a second oh here it is okay and I'm just going to go here to file a new and the the dimensions for this the this paper that I'm going to be printing for school are a hundred by forty it's kind of the the main view and here we have it so this is the, the the paper size that I'm using and now I need to load my two images and the easiest way is just to select them load them in and just maximize the screen just go finish and finish again 
and now as we can see, as you can see I have both of them and how you overlay them on top of each other you just want to keep the lines from this view you do that by selecting the, this aligns layer and then you just go here and you turn this to multiply and this is what you get so you get kind of this kind of a view and as you can see it's not really overlapping I did that on purpose just to show you what to do in cases when it doesn't overlap so what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in to one part or of the image and you're going to use something that's kind of small element like these windows that they can like perfectly align and you just go there and then you jump over to the other side and see if everything aligns and as you can see all of these windows are kind of over here so it's a lot smaller than it needs to be so you just hit Control T for transform and then you kind of stretch these out a bit and then you zoom in you see yeah this looks like it's aligned so let's move it up a bit and let's just go finish because uh, when you're scrolling around in Control T or transform mode it's kind of difficult to scroll okay and as you can see it's it's quite all right it's almost perfect let's just move it just by a couple of millimeters to this side yeah now it's perfect and let's just go finish scroll up see on this side yeah this looks perfect okay so that's what we have so we have this kind of a wireframe view and it's exactly on top of it and the main things that I wanted to do is I wanted to kinda emphasize this part of the project and kinda leave this in just sort of a as a background so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go here to the rendering and put a layer mask on top of it so this is the, the the layer mask that I'm talking about and here you get this white mask over here now as you can see I can select this layer and then I can select the mask now you want to be on the mask and then you go here to the brush tool and I'm just going to choose the biggest brush because it's a huge huge rendering huge okay and here I'm just going to choose black so just make sure that it's real black and then you can just go over it and then you can kinda remove the the rendering in these parts so as you can see over here I've got this really dark really dark shadow over here that I really don't want to have so I'm just going to go like that and make sure that you're on the softest setting over here for hardness on zero just to make everything smoother and here up here I'm just going to go like this just to eliminate everything here in the background just to eliminate that hard line so I'm going to do that and as you can see now it's already kind of emphasized like this and some, sometimes you want to have just a little bit of a rendering over here so what you can do you can open this mask and then you can kind of drop the den density just a bit maybe something like this would do the trick and as you can see so now we have some shadows but they're really really faded so the, the emphasis is still on this part of the drawing and if these lines are kind of not thick enough you can always just go here and go to brightness and contrast make sure to attach it just to the layer lines and then you can drop the darkness way down and then these lines will look thicker as you can see they're lighter thicker lighter thicker but I don't need this so I'm just going to delete it I like it the way it already is and if you want to just jazz these up a little bit more you can go here and I like this color look up it's like using those Instagram filters it's usually ugly but sometimes you might find something that looks good so you just select one of these and then you scroll down using your arrow keys so the first one was kinda cool this two color effect but you, ch you can just scroll down and find something you like maybe this one looks cool and okay this is way too much Ooh, this one looks nice so you can kinda go down Ooh, this this looks bleak let's see yeah I actually like the this one this one looks a bit cool let me just see if I can if I can transfer it to kinda greenish color let's see Ooh, this looks nice yeah Okay, so that's how you do these kind of a wireframe to rendering combinations and that's how you can get these amazing 
amazing uh, drawings or presentation panels where you have kind of a line work effect but it's got a little bit of soul because of the rendering in the background okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day